On a quiet day in September 1994 at Ariel School in Rua, Zimbabwe, an unexpected event unfolded that would capture the world's attention. Around 60 students witnessed a mysterious silver UFO and strange beings, an encounter that would challenge our understanding of the unknown. This wasn't just a fleeting moment. It sparked a detailed investigation led by renowned figures like Dr. John Mack from Harvard University. The students' vivid descriptions of the UFO and its occupants drew skepticism at first, but consistency and sincerity of their accounts soon turned skepticism into curiosity. Their stories weren't just dismissed. They became the subject of serious scrutiny, propelling the aerial school incident into the spotlight of UFO research. Dr. Mack's involvement added a layer of academic rigor to the inquiry focusing on the psychological impact on the young witnesses and the broader implications for our understanding of such phenomena. This event wasn't just a local curiosity. It became a landmark case in the study of unidentified aerial phenomena discussed in academic circles and UFO communities alike. The children's experiences, detailed in interviews and investigations, offer a compelling narrative of encounter and mystery one that continues to inspire debate and fascination. As we delve into this story, we explore not just the facts, but the profound questions it raises about reality, perception, and the vast unknown. Join me as I unravel one of the most compelling UFO encounters in history. Welcome to As Told by Bells, where mysteries unfold, the bizarre becomes reality, and strange stories come to life. I'm Bells, your guide into the world of the unexplained. Each week, we'll delve into unsolved mysteries that continue to baffle and tell so bizarre you won't believe they happened. To stay in the loop with every captivating story, make sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like, and ring that notification bell. Trust me, you don't want to miss a single episode of these extraordinary stories we're about to unravel. Now let the storytelling begin. On September 16, 1994, the aerial school in Rua, Zimbabwe, became the center of an extraordinary event when around 60 students, aged 5 to 12, witnessed an unusual occurrence during their morning recess. Typically, recess is a time for children to engage in various activities from playing sports to socializing. On this day, however, their routine was abruptly interrupted. As the children were immersed in their usual recreational pursuits, playing soccer, chatting, or exploring the schoolyard, a large silver object captured their attention. According to the students, this object descended in silence and landed in a nearby clearing, creating a scene unlike anything they had experienced before. They observed a large silver disc or saucer-shaped UFO adorned with flashing lights vibrant colors, and a metallic, shimmering surface. Moments after the silent descent, the students observed small humanoid beings, similar in stature to a 10-year-old child, but with distinctive features, long black hair and large elongated eyes that conveyed an otherworldly presence. These beings emerged from the UFO, stepping into the earthly environment with an aura of mystery. The children standing only a few meters away were close enough to discern intricate details about these visitors and their advanced craft, capturing a vivid memory that would linger for years. The encounter took an even more profound turn when some of the children felt they received telepathic messages from these beings. These communications centered on urgent themes of environmental preservation and a cautionary future for the planet left a lasting impression on the young witnesses. The messages hinted at a deep connection between the being's concerns and our earthly ecological challenges, suggesting a cosmic awareness of our planet's trajectory. The impact of this close encounter varied among the students, evoking a spectrum of emotions from fear and confusion to curiosity and fascination. In the aftermath, Many children reported a sense of disorientation, experienced a trance-like state, altered perceptions of time, and unusual physical sensations. 
The incident at Ariel School initially met with skepticism from teachers and staff who considered the children's accounts of a UFO sighting as mere imaginative play or a prank. This reaction was not unexpected, given the extraordinary nature of the claims. However, the dynamics changed when an increasing number of children began to share consistent and corroborative accounts of what they had seen. This growing body of consistent narratives from the students led some teachers to reconsider their initial dismissal and acknowledge the potential significance of the event. Over time, as the enormity of the incident became clearer, the school's administration and faculty started to take the children's story more seriously, recognizing the sincerity and consistency in their accounts. This acknowledgement prompted a cooperative effort with investigators and journalists who were delving into the incident, with many staff members offering their observations and corroborating the children's accounts. Following the aerial school UFO encounter, the incident garnered significant attention from local authorities, journalists, and UFO researchers, propelling it into the international spotlight. Investigative teams, including prominent figures like Dr. John Mack, a Harvard psychiatrist, descended on the school to interview the children, teachers, and other witnesses aiming to unravel the details of the sighting. Dr. Mack, intrigued by the psychological ramifications of such an encounter on young witnesses, focused on the children's experiences and the subsequent impact on their lives. His involvement underscored the encounter's importance in UFO research, adding a layer of academic scrutiny to the investigation. Local and international journalists, along with researchers, delved into the aerial school phenomenon, conducting interviews with the young witnesses to gather their first-hand accounts. These detailed testimonies were crucial in piecing together the narrative of the sighting. Many of the children involved in the event also created drawings that depicted what they encountered. These illustrations, which commonly featured the UFO and its occupants, became a pivotal element of the investigation, offering visual insights into the children's experiences. The consistency found in these drawings, despite the children's varied artistic abilities and perspectives, lent an additional layer of credibility to their accounts. These interviews and drawings not only shed light on the event itself, but also underscored its profound emotional and psychological impact on the students. The collective efforts of these investigators and media personnel played a crucial role in documenting the aerial school UFO encounter, elevating it to one of the most compelling and well-documented UFO sightings in history. The wealth of first-hand testimonies from the children offered valuable perspectives, enriching the discourse in UFO studies and ensuring the incident's prominence in discussions and analysis within the field. Dr. John Mack encountered criticism and skepticism for investigating the area school UFO encounter, a move that stirred controversy in academic and scientific communities. Critics questioned his methods and judgment, accusing him of endorsing pseudoscientific ideas and unfounded extraterrestrial visitation claims. Despite the skepticism, Dr. Mack's work underwent scrutiny from Harvard University, which ultimately found his research practices ethical and did not impose any disciplinary measures. His dedication to exploring the psychological and spiritual facets of alien encounters persisted, advocating for the serious examination of such phenomena beyond conventional scientific boundaries. Dr. Mack's contributions to the aerial school incident and its broader inquiry into alien encounters have fueled ongoing debates about consciousness, the scope of scientific research, and extraterrestrial existence. His work remains pivotal in psychology, psychiatry, and ufology, despite the controversies surrounding his approach. The aerial school UFO encounter stands out as a captivating episode in UFO research, despite various attempts to dismiss it as mass hysteria or misinterpretation. The children's consistent and seemingly sincere testimonies, without any clear incentive to lie, have prompted many experts to view the incident as potential evidence of an actual, unidentified aerial phenomenon. The event had a profound emotional impact on the students. While some were left with feelings of fear, confusion, or anxiety, others found the experience fascinating.
feeling their interest in UFOs and extraterrestrial life. Psychologically, the effects were diverse, with some children experiencing recurring dreams or flashbacks and others contemplating their existence and the nature of reality. The encounter didn't just remain a schoolyard tale. It garnered substantial media attention, catapulting some of the young witnesses to a form of celebrity status through the appearances in news segments, documentaries, and interviews. For several students, this incident ignited a lifelong curiosity about UFOs and related subjects, leading them to continue exploring, discussing, and sometimes presenting their experiences at relevant forums. As these students matured into adults, the encounter remained a pivotal chapter in their life stories. While some embraced their unique experience, integrating it into their identities, others chose to distance themselves, focusing on different life aspects. The aerial school encounter in rural Zimbabwe remains one of the most compelling and debated UFO sightings to this day. What started as an ordinary school day transformed into an extraordinary event that will forever change the lives of the students and staff involved. The detailed accounts of the children, validated by investigations and supported by educators and experts, lend a significant weight to the authenticity of their experience. Dr. John Mack's involvement brought academic credibility to the case, while also highlighting the challenges faced by those who dare to explore the uncharted territories of the unknown. Despite skepticism and controversy, the incident has sparked a broader conversation about the possibilities of extraterrestrial life and the nature of reality itself. Years later, the legacy of the aerial school sighting indoors, not only in the field of ufology, but also in the hearts and minds of those who continue to seek answers to the mysteries of our universe. This event serves as a powerful reminder of humanity's relentless pursuit of knowledge and the significant influence that such experiences can have on our view of the world. Whether believer or skeptic, the aerial school encounter invites us to ponder the vast, mysterious cosmos we inhabit and the endless possibilities it holds. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the mysteries of the unexplained. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on every captivating story we uncover. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your mind curious. Stay tuned for more stories from as told by bells.